Let's add custom 3D armor to Minecraft. Alright! One of us back at IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding custom 3D armor models to Minecraft. Now, this is going to be using, once again, Blockbench and GeckoLib. So let's actually first and foremost take a look at the armor model in a block bench. As you can see I've already prepared this armor model right here. I will admit that it's neither the best model nor is it the best texture. This definitely is purely just for, well, demonstration purposes only in this case. So you will need to install the plugin. This is the GeckoLib Animations Utils plugin. And well, I mean, then you can create if you make a new GeckoLib animated model. Oh, calling this test, there you go. Then you can go to File, Gecko Lib Model Settings, and then switch it to Armor right here. Hit Confirm, and then basically the player will generate, and then you can put the well, different pieces, the different blocks inside of these folders right here. So Biped Head, and then the Don't Touch, Don't Touch That, and then the Armor Head, and there your cubes will go. So for example, you know, do something like this, and then just size it up as well, right? Something like this, something like this, and something like this, and then all of a sudden I have a crazy and cool mask that my player can wear or something similar. So once again, you know, actually making the armor and the texture quite difficult, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, that is of course, well, for you to figure out uh, in the end, I'm just here basically imparting the knowledge on you and then hopefully you can make something cool with it. So once you have your armor done, I've actually, you know, I've just recolored the don't touch us here uh, with dark so that it's a little bit easier to see, you know, the differentiation between, you know, what is the actual, like, player wearing or what is the player look like and then what is, you know, the armor actually doing. So what you want to do is you just want to go to file and then export and then export GeckoLib model. Now you can see this will actually generate a geo.json file once again. So let's just go for this and there you go. I have also in the description below the blockbench model file is also available to you so you can use that there as well. So no worries at all and the texture file of course also available. Now we only need to well generate the geo.json file and that is pretty much it. So now we can switch back to IntelliJ and continue along and actually add stuff to it. Well first and foremost we need a new item class. That's very interesting. So in our custom item package we're going to right click new Java class and this is going to be the mithril armor item. There you go. Right this class will extend the mod armor item actually if you've created that in our armor that applies an effect and it will also implement the i animatable interface as well. So let's hover over this implement the two methods right here and then hover over this again create constructor matching super. Now, what you can do is you can actually take a look at one example. So if you press shift twice and search for the potato, I believe it is, there you go, potato armor item. You can see this is an example item for the potato armor from GeckoLib themselves. And pretty much, I mean, I'm not even joking, you could pretty much copy the contents of this almost word for word and then just plop them down here. Then we're going to have one issue, which is the animation factory. We can also copy that over as well. And then there should be no more pre errors present. Well, I mean, of course, we duplicate methods, of course, have to be deleted there. But that is pretty much all that we need to do. Now, of course, you want to change the items right here. Right? So you can see right now we're looking for potato stuff. We, of course, want to go for mod items. Dot, and then this should be the boots first and foremost, and then the other ones as well. So let's just go through all of them. So this is going to be the leggings. This is going to be the chest plate. And then last but not least, we also have the helmet. So this is something that you need to change right here. And then the rest is pretty much, well, almost the same. This one right here, I'm going to change to idle because in our case, the actual armor, if I'm switching back here, actually does not have any animation. And I just have a dummy animation JSON file that just doesn't play any animation in this case, because, well, I mean, I don't want any animation. You can, of course, add animations as well, but that is pretty similar to how it's done in the normal entities. So that should be, you know, fairly straightforward. Now, we also wanted to change all of the different armor pieces here to be mithril armor items. So this is, you know, a little bit of a change here. Because before, when we had the mod armor item, only one of them was the mod armor item. In this case, actually, all of them have to be the mithril armor item as well. So that's very important here. And now we want to add a model and a renderer. So we're going to go into our entity package in the client package and make a new package right here called armor. And inside of there, we're going to make two new classes. So the first one is going to be the mithril armor model. 
and the other one is going to be the mithril armor renderer so mithril armor renderer there you go we'll start with the model because that is a little bit easier this is going to extend the animated geo model of type mithril armor item and we're going to hover over this implement methods these three methods now we've seen those before in the raccoon model class actually and it's going to be well it should be fairly straightforward so i'm just going to copy over the first identifier here you can see it points to the geo folder so we've seen this before in the resources folder right when we added our custom entities so assets tutorial mod and then the geo folder where our geo json is located and there we will basically add the json file that we have exported from blockbench and let's just add the texture as well as the animation as well so those should be fairly straightforward you know it's just pointing to a new texture here and here it just points to the armor animations json like i said this is sort of a dummy animation json which n has nothing no animations in it but it's going to be fine all of the code is of course as always available to you in the description below github repository and individual just as well and let's go to the armor renderer so this will extend the geo armor renderer of type once again mithril armor item let's hover over this create constructor matching super and here we want to remove the actual parameter and then make a new mithril armor model and then very important we also want to copy something over and that is going to be the following so it's going to be this once again you can take a look at the geo armor renderer for the potato here so i just click on this press ctrl h and then it brings up all of the well subclasses and you can see here we're doing the same thing right so a similar thing basically setting the head bone the body bone and so on and so forth to the well specific names here and this specific name right here armor head I go into blockbench again is this name of this group right here so where you put all of your different cubes basically that is the name right here now i had to do something that was found you know rather strange the legs right were actually you know for whatever reason wrong way around so you can see the right leg bone here is the left leg and the left leg is the right leg i don't know why that is i mean i might have you know messed something up I don't know but you know it is what it is it might not happen for you but obviously it's just as easy as changing the names around that should really not be an issue at this point so once we have both the model and the renderer set up we only need to do well one more thing in the code and that is in the tutorial client mod we want to add the geo armor renderer dot register armor renderer and then make a new mithril armor renderer and then once again actually you know point to all of the items now let's actually copy this over from here because it is a little bit easier so let's just copy these ones so we just want to copy all of them the boots leggings chest plate and the helmet and there you go so that is pretty much all that we need to do here now let's just add the animations json file like i said this is also available in the description below this is just a you know a dummy file basically as you can see it literally doesn't do anything in this case and the geo file is the one that we have actually exported let's add this as well this is the mithra underscore armor geo json and then the texture is under models so let's make a new folder right here called models and then inside of there we're going to make a new folder called armor and then inside of there we get the actual texture file so there you go and we can also always make sure that this is correct right textures models armor that is correct mithril underscore armor underscore texture dot png and that is also indeed correct and that would pretty much be all of the different things that we need to add so let's see if it works all right so we find ourselves back in minecraft and let's just put the armor on and see and there we freaking go everything working so the custom model is inside of minecraft and i mean while it doesn't look you know like the greatest model ever you can see there's you know a few issues with it like the actual model itself uh, is not well that well made i will absolutely admit this and the texture of course is also not you know the best however what it is is it is definitely custom and it definitely is a 3d custom armor model and that's how easy it is to add that to minecraft right but that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one many thanks also to my lovely patreon supporters for supporting the channel and i will see you all in the next video so yeah